Hello again. So this is another close up. Today I'm going to be looking at two very different kangaroos. Um, the first one is the 1994 uh, Sydney Coinfest special issue. And uh, the second one is the Ken Dunn 2009 proof. Um, and we can just get them out of their boxes first of all. They come in these very nice presentation boxes. And if you can see my new table just below them, just quickly, um, I've started putting some junk silver in this, under the glass here, on this table I found. And uh, yeah, my aim, I'll show you guys when it's done, but I'm going to fill this whole section here with sort of like constitutional or junk silver from around the world. And um, all right, yeah, so let's look first of all at the 94 Sydney Coin First Special. Um, so you've got the, the COA uh, just talking about the kangaroo and the symbolism of it. And uh, we can see the COA there and the, the details. So it is 999 pure um, and it does weigh a, uh, an ounce. And you can see the mintage date is just 2,500. Uh, we'll look at the coin now. So I really like this image of this sort of leaping kangaroo. Um, nice finish, nice uh, matte field in the background. Um, it isn't a proof coin, um, but it is very nicely done. Um, there are some marks, but they are just on the actual uh, capsule. But yeah, a very nice image, I think, you know, very interesting. Um, if you do like the kangaroos, you know, they do come out with some of these special issue ones, um, which I find very attractive. I think there's one of my favorites is the sort of one where the kangaroo is um, drinking from the watering hole and you can see its reflection. But again, I really do. I love this image. I think it's, you know, very interesting, very nice coin. Um, and I picked it up. It wasn't, wasn't particularly expensive or anything. I think it was something around 25 euros or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to, to have something interesting uh, like this in the collection. And then I, let's have a look at the Ken Dunn. Now Ken Dunn, um, if you look on the back of the actual presentation box, there he is. Um, he is an artist in Australia and they did this, this as a part of a four box, uh, four artist set. I didn't bother with the rest of them, but I do like Ken Dunn stuff. So uh, I did want to get this one. Now I have a little look at the booklet. It does give you a little bit about him. And uh, just leave that there for you to have a quick look if you want to. And then, uh, well, this is a great example of his style of work. Um, this very, very, um, it's almost traditional style, you know, almost like the Aboriginal style, um, but is sort of his take on it. And they quite simplistic in their own way, but I love the colours and uh, I do love his imagery. And there we go, there's the, the details on it. So again, it is an ounce, it's 999 fine. Um, and it was a proof finish with a mintage of 20,000. And uh, let's have a look at the coin. Now, I really do, I love this coin. Um, I think it is great. You can really tell that it is um, by Ken Dunn. You know, it really looks like, if you compare it to his artwork, it's a great translation. Um, and has a great look to it, lovely proof. I mean, you can see the reflection in that. A uh, lovely proof finish. Um, I'll just turn it around. Now, this I really like. I don't know that I'm going to be able to sort of get the detail of it, but it's got this really interesting finish to it. Like, it's, I don't know, it's got almost like a micro glitter in it. And, um, I wonder if I can sort of get the angle on it and show you. Maybe like that. And it, it, I mean, it almost, yeah, there. It almost looks like, oh, I, I, just, I don't want to say it, but like, it's almost like white noise on a TV when you look up close to it. 
Um, it's got this, yeah, this very, very interesting quality to it, um, which I haven't seen before. I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me what this finish is. But um, again, if I can try and almost get it, it's uh, yeah, very unique, very unique finish to it. Very interesting. So I'm just get that focus back in. Um, so yeah, so so I really like this coin. You know, I I find it great to look at. Um, and as I said, as a fan of the artist as well, it's lovely to have it uh, in in sort of like coin form that I can hold and and enjoy. Um, so yeah, so that's it, guys. Two very very different kangaroos. Um, I think they, you know, are. are in their own rights very beautiful coins um both of them but uh i gotta be honest out of the two this is definitely my favorite the kendan uh, i just think it's it's quite unique and you know i've got to be honest it's it's you know it's one of the things i like modern imagery on coins and rounds you know it's like one of the things with the germanium mint as an example i really like that imagery i like modern things on coins um, and I, I'm done wrong. I like I I collect old sovereigns and things as well. And you know I do like that that classic imagery. But I I am enjoying these sorts of things when they come out. And uh, yeah, I will be looking for more interesting things like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, please leave a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Tell me which one's your favorite out of the two. And um, I'll get back to you next time. So take care, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.